Welcome back, folks. I'm finally back from spring vacation. So I took a few days off, rested, recharged my batteries, but I've been playing World of Tanks, and I finally completed TD-15, Triumph, for the Object 260. So this mission is pretty rough. I mean, the primary condition of dealing 8,000 damage to enemy vehicles, that's all right. That's a good game for me, but the secondary condition is destroy five enemy vehicles. And that doesn't fit well with the primary condition. Those two does not go well together. Because for the primary condition, you want to perform the maximum damage potential from your guns all the time to get a lot of damage in quickly, right? So basically, if you have the BL-10 on the ISU-152, you should do 750 damage all the time for every shot. Otherwise, if you keep shooting at 200 health, 100 health targets, you don't get that much damage, right? You don't, Well, you do get a lot of kills, but you need the damage first. So those two conditions does not merge well for a good gameplay. So basically, you have the KS, yet you have to deal a lot of damage all the time, and you don't have that many shells to go around or time also. Also, you have to rely on the fact that your teammates need to suck for you to complete this mission, because 8,000 damage, that's like 40% or 35% or so of all the health from your enemies on a high tier match. So basically you have to carry all the time. You have to depend on your teammates to suck and yet they will slow down your opponents by a little bit. So becoming stalemates while you carry the team and just shoot from the back or just shoot from their flank or something like that. So stalemate and you're picking off enemy targets. So it's all planetary alignments have to be exact and stuff. Ugh. But I'm playing the Yak Tiger for this match. So the recent HP buff Yak Tiger at tier 9 is pretty ridiculous because it has 100 less health than the Yak Panzer E100 at tier 10. This is a tier 9 vehicle. It has more health than the Tortoise the tier 9 British tank destroyer. The tortoise was pretty chunky, right? It has 2,000 health, whereas the FE-25B183 has 1,900 something, whatever. But that was the highest HP tank destroyer at tier 9. Now this vehicle is the highest HP, so it's crazy. And the Yak Tiger has a crazy good superstructure of 250 millimeter. And why that shot did not pin is beyond me. Well, it did pin. There's a hole, but there's no damage. Whatever. But the 128 on the Yak Tiger is pretty good. It's accurate. Has a high DPM, 3,300 with the rammer and vents. But basically, it's a pretty scary tank destroyer. If it's hauled down, it's also could brawl with heavy tanks, if you will. So I saw IS-3 coming this way, and he's going to make me. A lot of HP towards my mission completion. He shot my lower plate. So I was hoping for him to shoot the upper plate, but whatever. I reload faster than the BL-9. And I have better traverse, I think. Whatever. He's out. So for this mission, you have to depend on your teammates to stock. To stock? To suck. But they can stall at the same time. So basically a stalemate and they're losing. So as you can see, the right flank on the forest path, yeah, they lost, but there were like 10 of them on that flank. So basically they slow down my enemies while I'm trying to pick off these heavy tanks. So shoot the IS-3 for more HP. I missed a shot on the IS-7, loss in DPM. So, oh, oh well, but 2,500, that's all right. So as you can see, the right flank is about to fall. And there were like 10 of them or 10 of my teammates went there. So you have to depend on your teammates to suck. And yet they have to stall the enemy as long as possible for you to get the DPM output of your gun. So yeah. Mm, nah. 
shoot the objects in level 4. He has better alpha, but less accuracy. Shoot the T28. The T28 got a HP buff as well. So, that's good for me. So, as you can see, like, 11 people went to the forest. All died. <laughs> so, you have to rely on your teammates to suck, yet they can stall long enough for you to finish your flank and kill their flank so you get all the damage tons of damage but we still have two heavy tanks at tier 10 and a waffen trigger off e100 so i thought to myself i should go haul down on this hill to overwatch the base so i decided to myself hey let's head over there it's harder for me to get outflank on this hill and i can go haul down on top so I got spotted and they have a T22 they have a FE25B183 and a T57 heavy so I decided to myself yeah I'm going to get shot at nope abort the hill go back or go back and shoot the T22 backed okay whatever <laughs> Back, 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 back. There's a T32, T22, and a T10. Alright, side of the turret, please. Oh, T10, his gun has high penetration. He shoots my machine gun boot, kills my radio operator. Oh, crud. I am hauled down. It's pretty hard to penetrate the superstructure, but the T-22 is behind me. So I decide to myself, it's their best player in a T-22. I'm going to kill him, then they're going to finish off the heavy tanks. Go, 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 go. Try to shoot the Commander Cupola. Bad idea. Just shoot the hull, Sam. He shot my tracks now, repair it. The T10 is oblivious. <laughs> nope. Got my tracks again. There's a T28 prototype. The T10 is still oblivious. Right. Gonna shoot his tracks. Do not be tracking. Don't shoot me, please. I need my health. <sighs> shoot my frontal upper plate. He has like 240-ish, 250-ish millimeter of penetration. It's the IS-4 top gun, so... Alright. Shoot the T-28 prototype. The cheeks are still the weak spots. Mm. DPM output of this gun is great. Shoot the cheeks again. There we go. So basically, I still need... 1060-ish damage. I still could do it. There are three targets left. I have the secondary condition met, so I killed six targets, but two of them are high tiers, and they could easily one-shot me. Other than the E5, the FE-25B could fire, hash, and explode. And I'm dead. Dang it, mouse. Mouse died. I is seven. At six percent, so I'm trying to shoot the E5 first because he cannot kill me one hit, and he is exposed. Dang it! There's a VK. FE does not want to poke out. <sighs> Lose some health to the VK. Oh, bad, 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 bad. Uh, oh, dang it! IS7 is dead from the E5. The FE-25B183 is reloading, but the E5 is watching him, and I'm a one-shot, and I don't have that good of a gun depression. Only 7 degrees, I believe, so, oh, crud, 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 panicking, panicking, panicking. The E5 is flanking around. What should I do? I still think the FE-25B183 is firing hash at this point so i'm scared he can still easily penetrate my superstructure with normal ap so don't want to risk it but the e5 
he's flanking around so I have to make a decision quick so I'm still wondering where's the e5 oh panicking 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 oh crud there's the e5 I decide to myself shoot the e5 the fe 25 b 183 has to go around or go up the hill which will take him time to do so uh, there's e5 switch to ghost shell apcr fires faster has more penetration shoot the engine deck he fires high explosives <laughs> oh not this way not like this not like this oh, he bounced <laughs> uh the 183 millimeter bounce off the side of my ass as you can see right there side of my ass bounce <laughs> but i did not complete td15 because 7700 damage one shot away dang it but onto the actual vehicle that i completed td15 with which is the object 704 and here is tank destroyer triumph in my object 704 so it's Himmelsdorf encounter match not the best matchmaking because the object 704 doesn't have the frontal armor to go haul down or the gun depression so I'm not going towards the hill so basically I'm sniping on the city on the bottom of the city but I'm not going towards the castle and it's not a favorable matchup so 43% is uh, really rough but I decide to myself, I'll do the best on the bottom of the hill. So you have to rely on your teammates to stall, but doesn't do so well with the damage. So basically stalemate. So yeah, whatever. So let's go towards the sniping spot on the bottom of the hill. The object 704 is a tier nine Russian tank destroyer. It's a heavy arm tank destroyer not the SU-12254 which has 122 this has 152 so bigger cannon the same gun that's on the ISU but it fires faster a little bit ooh light tank so space armor <laughs> it has better armor than the ISU-152 this AMX-1390 is pretty much a new player or a somewhat new player because keeps shooting at my space armor <laughs> on the side skirts well there is 1000 damage in the bank nice <laughs> all the shots into the space side armor Ugh. -la 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 -la. e75 commander cupola there we go nice penetration he missed low alpha roll but whatever tiger 2 no nope. tiger 2 tiger 2 stock tiger 2 with gold shell i think that's the short barrel 105 the tiger 2 has 205 millimeter yeah so stock or somewhat stock with gold shell 320 alpha Ugh. The up to down shooting from the Tiger 2 negates my sloping on the frontal plate, so he penetrated, whatever. But it's also gold chill, whatever. So 1,500 damage from the Tiger 2, nice, good amount of health. Now RE75 stalled the Yag Tiger and the T28 prototype long enough for me to shoot at these targets on top of the hill. And this FCM and KV2 are stalling the left flank. So, nice shot into the Patton Tiger. More damage for me. Yum, yum, yum. Nice drive. <laughs> uh, almost flipped yourself. I went there. Want to have the kill because you have to kill five targets, but hit the roof. The beams of the roof. Wonderful. So the FCM stalled a little bit. Our light tanks in the field are stalling the Yak Tiger and T20 prototype, distracting him. But there's the Yak Tiger. He's a semi one shot. If I roll high, I decide to myself I shouldn't get flank. If I do, I'm going to get killed. 
The MX-1390 is coming this way. Swing around, but he is not focusing me, so good. Alright, go for this Yak Tiger. He is shooting at the KB-4 in the field. Almost at KB-2. Angle my frontal armor, 45 degrees. He's reloading, as it appears. Alright. So if you angle the frontal plate, it should bounce quite some shells like this, but he penetrated, so whoops. Lost like 500 damage or 500 health, whatever. Shoot the Yag Tiger. Alright, good, good, good. So at this point, I still think that we could win, but I'm not going for the TD-15 at this point because everybody spread out and I cannot get all the damage in. And I'm almost dead. Almost dead. There's the Panzer 58. And auto aim. Okay, bounce one off the mantlet. The gigantic tumor. Good. Reload. The T28 prototype died. Ouch. Took a hit from the mutts. Good. More HP or more damage for me. So at this point, I'm only 2000 damage off. So. A little bit more optimistic about finishing this mission. So Daya 6 is at full health, so is the Super Pershing. The MX-1390 looks to be like one shot, 700 health or so, so I still could do it. But I still have to shoot three times into three targets. And full damage too. But I still have to kill one of them. Alright, Daya 6 is a one shot good chunky health I need to kill him I need the what that tank destroyer is SU-152 to stall I need him to suck right there so I need him to stall while I kill these targets all right I have to kill the AMX-1390 auto aim <laughs> got him so right now I'm one shot off from TD-15 it's a super purging he could fire gold shell to penetrate my frontal plate, so I'm hiding a little bit. I have to shoot correctly because super purging. So try to aim for the side of the turret. <laughs> Dang it. So I don't want any of my teammates to shoot at this super purging and take away the health. So I decided to myself, YOLO. I have to get this shot in, otherwise I'm not gonna get TD15. So shoot her lower plate. Lower plate. Yeah, I got it. Oh lags. <laughs> So face hug to celebrate. Yeah, celebration. Got him. Finally, six targets killed. 8,103 damage dealt. Finally completed TD-15. Still have to do the heavy tank and medium tanks, but and artillery, or I hate light tanks, but TD-15 is done. And there you go, folks. TD-15, Triumph, the hardest of Tank Destroyer missions. Well, unless you play like TD-13 by yourself, but yeah, it's still no cakewalk. So you have to be aggressive. You have to play your Tank Destroyer like a heavy tank or fat medium tank, I guess, slow medium tank. So basically at the front lines while doing damage and you have to rely on your teammates or hope your teammates to suck but could stall long enough for you to finish off your flank and go help with their flank so yeah it's not an easy mission originally i thought i could complete this mission in my yak panzer e100 people just die too quick and the gun doesn't have the spread of the alpha evenly so you could ks while doing a lot of damage so you have to have a good DPM vehicle. You have to have all the conditions met, like your teammates suck, but they could stall long enough for you to get all the damage and the kills. So, sucks this mission. Ugh. Well, it's better than the medium tank 15. Uh, yeah, medium tank 15 is ugh, rough. But yeah, there you go, folks. How to play assault gun. Tank destroyers, not, you know, snipery tank destroyer. These tank destroyers are in your face assault guns. They have fixed mounted guns. They cannot rotate their 
guns around like 360 degrees, but they're in your face. They're door stoppers. They're just a pain in the ass to deal with if they're hauled down. Like a Yat Panzer E100, 200 meters away under a hill or something. Ugh. But that's how you should do it. So as you can see, 7,700 damage in my Yak Tiger. Bounce a miracle shot from the FE25B 183, but one shot away from completing TD15. Just one shot. Ugh. High caliber, top gun, Spartan metal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, funny. So, 1,700 XP for this match. Shooting at tier 10s, obviously, but... Ha ha ha, beat the T22 in damage. Sucker! <laughs> so, block a few shots. That's good. And here is the object, 704. So, steel wall metal. Mostly thanks to the AMX 1390. He's relatively new so he doesn't realize the object 704 is based off the is3 chassis so it does have the space side armor <laughs> shot like five rounds into the space side armor Ugh. but high caliber top gun only missed one shot and that was on the roof shooting at the patent tiger Ugh. but yeah bl10 1500 xp because shooting at tier eights and not so on tier 9s, but as you can see, you have to rely on your teammates to mostly suck, but they could stall quite a bit for you to gain all the damage. So that's like what? That's like 30%, 40%? That's TD 13 if you do it by yourself. Ugh. So yeah, steel wall metal <laughs> on an object 704. <laughs> Face palm, but there you go folks. That's what I've been doing for the spring break or so. I've been playing other tanks too and I've been completing some other stuff, personal stuff. So what's coming soon to the channel is I'm going to get a new computer relatively new uh relatively soon. Relatively new. It's it's a new computer, it's not relative. So soon. And Armor Warfare contacted me. So they wanted to do a contract deal or something. So I should have a few spanking new premium tanks to give out, like a competition or something for Armor Warfare. Also good. So stay tuned. But I'm back. Hope you guys missed me. And I'll try to do all the leaked videos as soon as possible. But 9.14 just came out like two weeks ago. Or three, or whatever. So thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Waking dreams fade away, embrace the breath.